first beer. Good morning, gun tubers. I'm your host, Ben Dover of 76.2 AKM Radio. Today we're talking about executive outcomes. New YouTube channel. Let's hear what the users have to say. Line is open now. First caller, go ahead. Hi, yeah, I, um, I don't know. I think the channel is promising, but sometimes the color grading is a little weird. Uh, I don't think they know how to color grade yet, and as a pro color grader, I really think they need to start using a different set of LUTs, but, uh, it, you know, it's just one of those things they have to sort out as a... U- Next caller, go ahead. Hi, yeah, um, I don't know. The channel seems oddly like Grantham, but Larbier, if... All right, well, we're going to go ahead and close the calls today. So thanks for tuning in to 762 AKM. I'm your host, Ben Dover. Good morning, ladies. Gentlemen, welcome back to the Executive Outcomes channel. I'm the Talking Strand Hog, and today we're talking about the first beer, Strand Hog. It'd be hard to explain. Now, the great thing about the Strand Hog is while it limits your mobility from moving laterally, the I just love the idea of someone coming to the channel and being like, oh, cool, like a serious page. We're gonna take, they're gonna take stuff super serious. And they're like, what the f- is this? Sh-? Let's talk about the Speed Strand Hog now. <laughs> I, uh, I love how niche gun guy humor this is. All right, if you haven't figured it out by now, we're talking about the first beer Strand Hog. I'm your host, Executive Outcomes, the talking uh, plate carrier. I mentioned her briefly and the AC1 video going over different plate carriers and I wanted to dive into this one more because the Strand Hog does hold a spot near and dear to my heart. I think it's one of the better plate carriers out there on the market. Is it the best? Yet again, I don't think things are the best in the sense of, I mean, I do think it's pinnacle plate carrier technology, like pinnacle peak like plate carrier technology. And I'm very biased and I love the Strand Hog and First Beer. But is it the best? Eh, it depends on what you do. So. It's no ultimatum thing with me. It's always like, hey, is this tool gonna be the right tool for the right job? So, this is more so my observations and opinions. So let's dive into the channel. Weirdly enough, this is not my strand hog, uh, but I have had some time behind the first spear technology that is their plate carriers. Uh, using it, I quickly realized how comfortable this plate carrier truly is. And when I realize now, talking on camera about a plate carrier that I'm wearing, I have nothing to do with my hands and it feels kind of weird. So I guess I'll hold these two HK mags. You dive into the functionality of the Strand Hog in a non-permissive environment, kinetic biomechanics diversely. The engineering of your exoskeleton. This is also so many Travis Haley references, I can't uh, truly do it. It's comfy. This is comfy and actually you can wear it for a long time. First Spear supplies a lot of professional guys. So you have Green Berets to the Marshals and law enforcement side of things and everything in between. You also have a lot of concerned citizens which are leaning towards the First Spear technology. Now this does come at a cost. The Strand Hog system is going to be Strand Hog system? System? The Strand Hog and First Beer products in general are, are going to be more pricey. Uh, you do get what you pay for in this sense because the quality overall is very well done. My favorite part of the First Beer Strand Hog has to be, without a fraction of the doubt, the tubes. The tube system is wicked stellar. And the reason for that is, is that a lot of carriers uh, throughout time relied on Velcro as your main form of retention to your body. While this is a doable system, and even still, a lot of these carriers do, like you saw in the AC1 video, Velcro wears out, Velcro starts to fade away. Here you can see on my, here's a lot of stuff moving around. On my ferro rig right here, you can see the Velcro fading away, as well as uh, it just gets caught on everything. So the nice thing about this is that when you are putting on a plate carrier, say in a hurry, I don't know why you're doing that in stress, but there are situations you wanna have one less thing to worry about. So your flap over here isn't gonna get caught on the back of your plate carrier and you'll be able to find it and sort yourself out and get it back on your body relatively quickly, all right? And they don't really come undone unless you pull them off the right way. So, so the tube technology is by far one of my favorite systems for retaining a plate to your body. Is it the best method in my opinion? Yeah, probably. It's one of my things that I think, is it, the best in your opinion i don't know i don't have your brain so i can't tell you you can comment section down below i can hear the angry clicks already i'm just a big fan i'm not showing this isn't sponsored by first beer in any way shape or form it's just want to talk about the play carrier in general and kind of go over why i like it and if you were thinking about maybe like hey i want to 
upgrade my plate carrier or I want to move into a different category of plate carrier because I only have slicks and now I want something that's a little bit more uh, overt. I hate saying those because they're kind of overused, but let's dive into it. Okay. Now, the laser cut molly is probably one of my more favorite parts of this. All right, real quick, so let's talk about the interior of the plate carrier real quick. So if I flip this up and get my shadow out of there so the camera guy can get some good lighting on this, you can see how heavily padded and how fit up for breathing that this plate carrier is. So you have thick padding on both sides with vented mesh. Uh, there's like some tactical name for it, I'm sure. Uh-oh, lost the lost gas mask. Back to the video. There is some technical name for it, I'm sure, but uh, you can see how thick with three C's padded it is and uh, the mesh for breathability. That's very nice and that's gonna come into play for when you have to wear this plate carrier for a long duration. Say if you're uh, in the military or in law enforcement where those guys have to wear their kit all day. Now, if you're a, a concerned citizen, how long you wear your kit for may depending on if you're going to a course or a class for instruction or if you're hitting it hard on the flat range and LARPing like the grandmaster that I am. Okay, side coverage that you have on here. You have your side armor here. I believe that this is gonna be some 3A body armor for the side uh, to mitigate some ballistic threats. And then you have, of course, your level four plates on the inside for rifle protection. And I believe you, can, you, of course, can also scale it up and get some level four plates on the side as well. But I believe uh, Mr. RBMT Media, my camera guy, has his set up for 3A. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm right, he shook the camera. You can see laser cut molly on the rear. There's no Velcro for attaching any sort of patches on the rear. You're gonna have to get a Velcro insert from First Spear, like uh, this right here. You loop your Velcro insert into the laser molly, and then you have the option for your patches uh, and other stuff. Shoulder straps are nice and thick for comfort, dispersing the weight on your shoulders. And then the scalability is pretty good. So. It's not as quick as, say, a slick where you can rip off that panel and put on something else or insert with clips. Of course, you can always put your clips inside of this molly so you can have uh, a system where you throw that on. But uh, yet again, you're you're gonna have to need, you're gonna have to scale it up. Welcome back to Nine Hole Reviews, where we attach an RPG scope to a Henry repeating rifle and push it out to 700 yards. Dollars with uh, after tax in that ballpark area, shipped to your door. Okay, with shipping and all the tax. There it goes again. All right, third time's a charm. So, pros and cons with this plate carrier system. It's going to be expensive to set it up how you want and get things going. It's not cheap. It's about $600, $700. I can't remember. I'll, I'll throw like a picture of how much it costs based on the website and you have to scale it up from there. It's expensive. So, just the carrier itself without any armor, without any attachments, you know, it's a ballpark of like five to $700, somewhere around that. And each pouch from First Spear, as well as the Velcro, you're gonna have to buy the pouches. You know, it's I believe these pouches are around the $40 mark each one. And then you have this Hub City radio pouch over here. And then over here you have a Blue Force Gear tourniquet holder. And then the uh, what is it? The cell, the Theorem. You have the Theorem battery cells for your, all your CR 123s for your flashlights. How you go about it is of course your business, and how much money you put into it, of course, is your business. This is America. Land of the free, home of the brave. You have options, of course. If you want to rig up your buckles into the plate here, throw a Velcro pouch, or not Velcro pouch, a Velcro panel down low, you can run an HSP rig of some kind. So it's a lot of, there you go. So of course, it's up to the end user and where you want to go. I, like I said, I am a fan of the first beer plate here. I think for the money, it is well worth it. It's one of those things you get what you pay for. And if you had to wear this plate carrier for a long duration of time, for hours and hours on end, you are going to be happy you spent the money on said plate carrier. Aliens. So overall, uh, my opinion is if you want a very well quality, high-end plate carrier that's going to be very comfy to wear, first spear is going to be a good go-to. There are other options out there, of course. This is just a YouTube video. We're just... We're just dancing monkeys for your entertainment and, and watching pleasure because there's a high probability you're watching this while you take a dump. So uh, we'll, we're passing this time together. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon, I'm going to push that pretty hard. It's my new uh, campaign over the shirts. The shirts have been good, but the shirts are soaking up a lot of time. That was a nice string of fire. The shirts have been soaking up a lot of time, so Patreon is going to be now the go-to. Of course, the Patreon link is down below. Shirt link will be down below. Uh, I may have to cancel shirts because they're doing so good, and I'm the only guy 
cranking those out. So uh, thanks for uh, sticking around. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, next caller, go ahead. Yeah, them boys are they're running gun with the 556 five, platform. Seems a little willy nilly. Uh, if I were them, I'd just stick to my my trusted M14 and my 1911, and I call it a day. You don't need to be running a gun out in the desert like that. This looks silly. They're gonna roll an ankle. There's just too much athleticism involved in firearms. I'd like to keep them separated.